Wait, 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 do not click away. That is right, Barcelona is going to be playing Athletic Club for the third time this month. That's right, it's, it's crazy scenes, but let's go ahead and preview the game. Let's get to it. Hello guys, welcome back to El Merengue Cule. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I know uh, we Barcelona fans are, especially after that Real Madrid defeat. Eesh. But today, let's focus on the game in, in, in hand. Because if we win tomorrow's game, we have the potential to be tied in points with Real Madrid. And then if we, uh, or we would be uh, technically ahead of them in the table due to goal difference. But that is right. The first time we play Athletic Club this month, it, it was in, in the, the 6th of January, in which we actually managed to win 3-2 to two, uh, at home. It, it was a game in which we initially went down and then were able to flip the game. And then in January the 17th, ah, the dark days. I, I'm sure you guys remember it. I don't want to go too deep into that game, but, you know, we did lose 3-2 uh, to, two, to two goals from Griezmann. Uh, you guys remember that game. I don't. I don't need. It's a touchy subject. I don't need to get too too in depth. But tomorrow, the thirty first of January, will be the third time we play them this month. Now, I, I don't want to make this this pregame. The, the, I mean, it could literally be the same thing as last time, except for uh, you know the, the a different starting eleven. So you know, I want to base this game a little bit more of emotions. But let's go ahead and, and, and break down Marcelino. Their, their new coach. He has not lost a game ever since that 3-2 defeat against us. And that has come with some very important defeat or very important victories from Athletic Club uh, Athletic Club's perspective. Well, of course, the the time we lost to them, the time they beat Real Madrid, and they and the time they beat Getafe 5-1 after initially coming down um, from a 1-0 goal. So, if that is any indication, is that this athletic club is able to score goals. There's no doubt about it. We, we talked about it in the last game. The set pieces, the set pieces, the set pieces. That still stands. Don't get me wrong. But, let's touch up on the subjects that I think will be the determining factors that will give us the edge in this game. In the, 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 the best two out of three. Tomorrow will be the day we put them back in their place. We put them back where they belong. Losing points, dropping points. <laughs> Okay, so guys, again, I know I didn't want to touch up on that 3-2 defeat, but, you know, it's fresh in our minds, and, and, and it's going to mean a lot to this game in terms of the emotion that we're going to be coming into this game. It's going gonna, it's gonna to have the team boiling up, firing up in all cylinders, and hopefully will be the determining factor. Of course, you guys remember, we were minutes away from clinching the title, from celebrating in all its glory. We, I think we have like 10 or 11 players in the Barcelona squad that have not celebrated a trophy um, with Barcelona, which is insane. Um, and then, of course, uh, they, they got the goal, and it hurt. And then, not only that, they became little bitches. They started faking injuries and, and just trying to frustrate us. And they, they were doing whatever it took to win the trophy, but still playing like little bitches nonetheless. And then, you know, it led to Messi eventually seeing the red card. And, you know, that was like the, the end of it all. And from there, our blood has been boiling. And tomorrow night, we are coming out for blood. Barcelona is going to do anything and everything in their power to win this game. Messi especially. It, I guarantee you, tomorrow's title for the video will be the Messi show. And it's going to be a game in which, I'm calling it now, Messi is going to score a hat trick. He is going to be boiling up. He's going to do everything to create damage to this Atletico. So guys, trust that this Barcelona team, with this anger that's been building up, we're going to channel it channel it properly and, and create absolute damage. So guys, you know, normally I like to give out my score prediction at the end of the video, but no, today we're giving it right now. I'm calling it a 3-1 victory for Barcelona, hat-trick of Messi, of course. You guys already heard me say that. But now let's, uh, let's break down the starting 11, or the potential starting 11. And it gets a, a little bit interesting, a little bit of room for variation in comparison to uh, previous La Liga games. So, of course, Ter Stegen will be in goalkeeper. No doubts about that. Jordi Alba, Araujo, I'm pretty sure will be in there. And then next to Araujo, I'm thinking Umtiti. 
Lenglet for me has been very, very weak, and it's hard for me to accept that. I'm a player, I'm a, I'm a, I love Lenglet, but he has been defending pretty weak, pretty lazy, giving a little bit too much room for the attackers. I think in Titi, yeah, you never know what he can offer. Um, and now on the right side is where it gets uh, interesting. You know, we've been seeing Minguesa a lot because Hino Des has been uh, having some, some muscle problems. So, I mean, that still stands the same as last game. If Dest is ready, let's go ahead and throw him in there. If he's not, uh, Minguez is an option. And then, finally, Sergio Roberto could potentially be an option. It is not known for sure, but uh, he has been practicing with the team. Maybe, uh, I, you know, maybe it might be a little bit premature to throw him in there in the starting 11. But potentially, we could see him coming on as a sub. And let's not forget, he could even play in the midfield if we need him to. Yeah, just another factor. Keep in the back of our mind. If we need an option, he could be a great tool. Moving up to the midfield, for sure, the young who has had an insane 2021 year. Um, I've finally given the, the role of to be able to attack a little more. And, well, it's paid off in, in getting himself in the headlines through goals. Um, so, yeah, you know, most definitely we should be seeing him. And now next to him... We, it will definitely not be Busquets. Let me remind you that he's picked up too many yellow cards and, and is uh, serving that suspension this game. So I'm thinking Pjanic would be the safest uh, bet uh, to swap man for man. And then finally in front of him will be Pedri. Now, you guys know I'm a big fan of Rigi Puig. I want him to play this game. But realistically, if Pedri plays, Rigi Puig is not going to play. Uh, there, there are two players that are... I want to say similar or play the same role, so it's hard to get them both in the starting 11. As we move up top, Usman Dembele, actually, you know what, I'm going to uh, initially have Usman Dembele on the left hand side, I'm going to move him to the right hand side to keep him away from Ander Kappa, who had a, an insane game against us last time around. We, yeah, let, let, you know, let's keep uh, Dembele on the opposite side to, to hopefully to um, create some damage, maybe, I mean, Kappa's a big, strong outside back, which is not very common, so maybe by put, putting Dembele on the right-hand side, he could have a little bit more freedom, and, uh, who knows, get himself a goal, get himself a couple of assists, just have a good time, um, on the, oh, but then Messi on the right-hand side, you know what, we'll put Messi in the striker position, uh, and then Griezmann on the left-hand side, Guys, let me know what you think of the starting 11. Who do you think will start? Do you think Sergio Roberto will play, will start? Let me know all of it down below. You guys know the drill. I already told you. Barcelona, my score prediction will be 3-1. to one. Let me know your score prediction for a chance to win a Barcelona jersey. A big, important game tomorrow. Not only in terms of uh, the La Liga and the ranking and the positions, but in terms of our morale. We need to win this game. We need to get our heads uh, back onto that, you know, that killer mentality. Guys... If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit a big, big, big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell on. That is right, guys. As always, Bisca Barca!